right, folks, welcome to 90.9, the quadratic for your third Algebra 2 5.1 to 5.4 quiz review video brought to you by China Sound and Coffee Espresso here in Litchfield. Um, guys, for 21, P of X is equal to 2X to the third minus 5X squared plus 8. In order to save some time, guys, what you're doing is just plug in negative 3 in for X. This is a review from Chapter 1. Plug negative 3 in for x everywhere you see it. Cube negative 3, get negative 27. Double it, negative 54. Negative 3 squared is a positive 9. Negative 5 times 9 gives you negative 45. Add 8 to it, that's how you get 91. Plug 5 in for x. 5 cubed, 125. Double it, 250. 5 squared, 25. Multiply by negative 5, you get uh, uh, subtracting 125 there. Add 8, you get 80. E, uh, that's not right. So you get a hundred and thirty-three. A hundred and thirty-three. All right. Uh, same thing here. Plug negative three in for x. Let's make sure the work is correct. That looks good. Plug five in for x. And that is what we get. Negative 157. Okay. It's just plugging in evaluating as long as you write as long as you write this first step showing me what you're typing in your calc you can get that answer okay um, on the next page here let's take a look state the degree and the leading coefficient the degree is the highest power the highest power is uh, three so this has degree three the leading coefficient is what is attached to x to the third that is a negative 14 on this one, the highest power is, it doesn't have to go in order, the highest power is 4. So this has degree 4. What is attached to x to the fourth? The leading coefficient is 8. All right. Guys, on this one, you could foil all of it, but really, just be smart here, folks. The highest power here, 5x to the third, multiplied by the highest power there will give you the overall highest power x to the fourth is going to be the highest power. So this is going to have degree 4 with a leading coefficient of 5. So same thing here. Highest power times highest power, it's going to be 6x squared. We don't really care about, care about anything else. The degree is going to be 2. And the leading coefficient, 6x squared, the leading coefficient is Six. We got a few easy questions in here. For each graph, determine whether it represents an odd or an even degree function, and state the number of real zeros. So first off, number of real zeros, it only crosses the x-axis one time. So this one has one real zero. Notice the in behavior. You're going up, you're going down. That's the opposite direction. Opposite direction equals odd degree. So this is odd degree, one real zero. This one has one, two, three, four real zeros. It crosses the x-axis four times. Four real zeros. Now, look at the end behavior. It is going up. It's going up. If you are in the same direction, it's not opposite direction, same direction, that is an even degree function. All right, and then that's going to help us out with... 29 through 42 here, folks. Describe the end behavior. So just like on your quiz, I'm going to give you these four drawings, okay? Like we said on the other page, if your end behavior is in the opposite direction, these two would be for an odd degree. If your end behavior is in the same direction, those two would be for an even degree, okay? So my highest power here is 3. So this one's going to be an odd degree and my leading coefficients hard time spelling there my leading coefficients a positive one so it has a positive leading coefficient that means it's going to end by going up but because it's odd degree the other way has to be opposite so it's going to be the second one it's going to begin it's going to in this direction that is it's going to be going south okay Let's take a look here at 30 notice how my highest power is 2 2 is even. So even degree functions end by going in the same direction. Because this is a negative 2, my leading coefficient is negative. Negative means it goes south. So it's going to end by going south. And even degree function, the other way also goes south. All right. 
Here I have highest powers three, so that's odd degree, odd degree. What is attached to it is a negative, so that means it's gonna end by going down. Odd degree function have opposite in behavior, so this way it's going to go up. Again, the graphs are your answers, all right? And lastly, uh, to the fourth power, that is even. It's an even degree function, and it's gonna end by going up. It's gonna end by going up. They go in the same direction, so this one's also going to go up. In the last video, I'll show you how to use your graphing calculator to help you out on ones like 34 and 35, 90.90 90 .90 quadratic, signing out.